Hey guys, welcome back to another Discord Just tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a premium system for your guild. So just, this is just a follow-up video. Um, because some of the members have been saying that they want a premium system, not for the user, but for the guild. So in today's video, I'll be covering that. And I'm also going to add a expiry date for the guild member, uh, guild premium membership. So you can specify a date when the guild membership is uh, going to end. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so before we start, um, you guys need to install a package. It's called days.js. So all you need to do is npmi, npmi, days, and then js. So just uh, install this. All right, I already installed it, so I'm not gonna redo it again. So, um. We're going to go to the models and we're going to create a new model. All right. So, um, model, we're going to create a premium dash guild dot JS. All right. So in here, we're going to do cons, uh, mong, cons m equals require mongoose. If I can type. All right, and the module dot exports uh, equals m function uh guild. Let me just do premium guild. Common new m dot schema. Okay, first it's gonna be the guild, which is a string. So this is where we're gonna pass in the guild ID, and then uh expire. And then I'm pretty sure it's a number. Yeah, it's a number. Uh, and then we can set. We can set if it's um permanent, permanent, and it's gonna be a boolean, a boolean, whatever you wanna call it. All right. So in here, I actually already created two um commands in the premium section. Just quickly create that premium guild, and delete premium guild. So we're gonna cover both of these today. Um, easily, uh, we're just going to do const and then we're going to require the model that we created earlier. So we can do that by doing const, uh, schema equals require dollar slash, dollar slash models slash, uh, guild premium, premium guild. Yes. And then, um, in here, I'm just going to add premium at guild or whatever you want the command name all right so i'm just gonna get my id so let me just go to my previous video and get my id so this is my discord id don't uh don't be must be what it is uh it's just my discord id with a basic if statement so just do if message auto id is not equals to your id just paste your id in here and then put return all right for the next step we're gonna check if uh we're gonna check for arguments so if no arc zero turn message or reply please specify a guild id all right so once there's the guild we're going to check if the guild is present in the client's uh catch so we can do that by doing client dot guilds dot catch dot has and then we're going to check for arc zero all right, so we can just actually just copy this. So if there is, uh, if there is no, if the guild is not present, we can simply just do return message the reply. Um, it's an invalid guild ID. All right, so let's move on. Um. Next, we can actually use the schema over here. The schema um, dot find one. Guild will be uh, the arc zero. The async error data. All right. <clears throat> For this, we're gonna check if there's data. If there is, if there's data. So if it's previously saved, we're just going to do data to delete. We need the previous data and then we're going to save a new data. 
Um, okay, right before this, you have to add something as well, which is the date, const, uh, expire, expire equals args one. All right, if there is no, okay, let me just leave it over there. All right. Um, let me just do something. Okay, let me just remove this. We'll worry about that later. All right, so in here, we're going to check if there is args one or else the thing is going to be permanent so if there is arcs one we're going to do something else we're going to do something so in arcs one we're basically going to do new schema guild will be um the arcs zero of course and then next will be the expire let me just see if i spelled that correctly I mean, um, the property name is correct or wrong. Let me just put it here. All right, expire and permanent, perfect. Expire and permanent. So expire will be, um, all right. So we also need to import the days, day JS library, day JS. Okay. And then next in here, we're just going to do if arcs one, um, we're just going to define const expire equals to day. And then we're going to pass in the arcs one. And then we can just do value off, which will pass the, uh, which will tell us the timestamp. As you can see here, it shows the timestamp. Um, yeah, I think it works. Yeah. All right. So we can just pass in expire comma. And then lastly will be permanent, which will be false because um, there is an expiry date. All right. So after this, make sure that add a dot save at the bottom of this. Okay. For else, we're going to do some uh, things a little differently. We're just going to new schema and then expire will be false. Oops. You can't do that. Guild uh, will be arc zero, the same thing. And then expire will be, uh, let me just say zero. Permanent will be true. And then we're just going to add a dot save. All right. So just exit both of these else statements. And then we can just do something like uh, message dot guild, message dot reply. Then we can do a uh, save data. All right, so this is for the premium guild, um, the add premium guild. So now let's just move on to delete premium guild. Okay, so in here we're just gonna paste in the how we're gonna require the schema, and then we're just gonna del guild or remove guild, whatever you wanna call it. All right, so in here, uh, we're gonna do the same thing over here which is copying this. Okay. So in here, uh, we're going to check if there is no args zero return message the reply, please specify a valid ID. Okay. Next, we're going to go into schema. We're going to do schema dot find one, uh, the guild will be the arc zero okay and then in here comma async error data if there is no data return message the reply uh there uh the id that you have provided is not present in the database okay right whatever message you want all right so next we're going to check if there's data, we're just going to delete data. So if, or we can just data or delete. And then lastly, we can just do return message or reply deleted data. Okay. So that is uh, all for this command. Um, next we're going to move on to events. So, uh, we're going to locate our events, our message event. So just find for a message event. Okay, so a message event basically means 
this the client on message the whole thing this whole thing is a message event all right so we're gonna import our schema again to cons premium guild and then we're gonna let me just add schema equals require same thing models uh, dollar slash models slash guild premium is it guild premium or premium guild pre okay premium guild all right so um let me just see where i want to do this okay actually I, I can just remove this because we're not using it anymore so we don't need extra checks let me just comment that out all right so in here we can just do if command dot premium all right and oh let me see what i can do over here um okay let me just do if command premium and then uh we can do we're gonna check for the date so we can check whether it matches or not okay so we can just do um premium guild schema premium guild schema dot find one okay we're gonna find for guild it'll be message dot guild id okay and then uh next will be async error data so it's gonna be a little bit complicated so just bear with me so if there is no data i'm just gonna do return message dot reply this is a premium command okay if there is no data i mean there's no data all right so we're gonna move all this inside and i'll find one function so let me just do that real quick um this command cooldown let's cut this whole thing over here and paste it in here uh yep in here all right so just paste it under the if there is no data perfect um and then next we are gonna do so basically after the if there's no data so now there is data so next we're gonna check if it's permanent okay so if data dot permanent and then we can run how do we do this okay we can do if data is dot permanent and um and the date now is lesser than the value of uh we can do that by doing date dot now is uh more than uh data dot expire all right i'm just confusing myself right now so let me just recheck if it's false um if it's false and the date dot now is more than okay and then we can just do over here we can just do return message dot reply the the premium system is expired okay so actually we we can we have to add another thing in here so let me just do curly brackets okay and we put the return message reply in here and then we're just going to do data to delete all right so this should be it for the command so let's just test this out all right so i found another error in my code so let me just show you guys so if you scroll up okay you can see that if command premium over here okay so just add an else we're just going to command dot run message arcs okay so just restart your bot again all right so let's just test this out so if you haven't known already on the previous video i made the premium command for the uh, ping.js true so ping.js is a premium command so if i try to run this command right now it would say this is a premium command all right nothing to uh nothing is unexpected so let's just try to add guild 
add guild um add it over here all right schema is not defined so let me just check here all right it's not capital so it shouldn't be capital so make sure it's low caps in here okay so let me just retry this again All right, and then we can just y at guild, and then we can pass in the ID, save data. So if I try to write y ping again, it should work because this is a premium membership for now. All right, so let's say it's already done. So we want to remove the premium membership. So we're going to just Dell, uh, what is it? Dell guild, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Dell guild, yes. So Dell guild. Passing the ID, delete the data, and if I run wiping again, it will say this is a premium command. So let's just test this out with dates. All right. So let me just do y at guild this one, and then we can add a date, which is 2021 dash 06 dash 06. So this is the month and this is the day. So don't get confused. So right now it's the 6th of June. So I do this so that uh, if you remember what I said earlier, it's going to take the time, the timestamp of 12 a.m. of this current date. So basically, it has already passed 12 a.m. for 6th of June. So it shouldn't uh, allow me to use the command, even though I added the time, if you understand. So let's just try this out. Um, let me just try wiping. The premium system has expired yeah so uh okay so let me just not confuse you let me just add a previous date so you guys um let's just say you try and travel to 6th of june and uh the date was 2021 and then 06 and then 04 the 4th of june so this is the expiry date so let me just do that okay so let me just explain it again um, this is the expiry date for this premium goods and it's now currently 6th of June All right, so it should say it's expired. So if I try to run this command y ping It will say that this premium system has expired. So let's say you want to add a month Oops, what did I just do? Let me just okay, let's say you want to add a month to the uh, premium membership so you can do something like y at guild and then you can pass in the id and then you can pass in the amount of uh, months you want so you can make it 2022 or whatever you want in my case if i want to add a month to the premium membership all you need to do is 2021 dash 07 and then dash 06 all right so just add a guild and you should be able to use the ping command again so yeah, that should conclude today's video on the premium guild system. If you have any questions, feel free to join the support server. Links will be in the description. Other than that, if you want to watch more Discord JS tutorials, stay tuned on the end. You should see a playlist you can click on. Other than that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye!